We have a new iMac. This isn't it, that's the M1 version, but I thought that was a funny way to start this video. Basically, we have an M4 iMac and there's good and bad news. The good news first, it has the M4 chip, which is significantly faster than the M1 chip. It's built for Apple intelligence from the ground up, although remember, the M1 and the M3 iMacs will still work with Apple intelligence. The base unified memory has gone from eight to 16 gig, which should stop the arguments. And you can put a maximum of 32 gig of memory into the new iMac now, which again is good news. News. There's fresh new colors. We have a center stage equipped camera and a nano texture option for the display. There's also four Thunderbolt 4 ports on the most expensive version. And in the UK, it's had a price decrease of 100 pounds across the board. Now for the bad news. And if you were waiting for a new version of this, which is the Intel 27 inch iMac, this is really heavy. Will we get it? I don't think we will. I think Apple is now banking on you either buying the 24 inch iMac or a combination of the Mac Mini and a studio display if you want a bigger display. But who is this new M4 iMac for? Number one, if you've been waiting to buy an iMac for quite a while, now is the best time to get Apple's all-in-one. Number two, if you have an Intel iMac, what an upgrade. Number three, if you have the M1 iMac and it's feeling a bit slow or you just want a bit of an upgrade in terms of internal storage and memory, again, what a time to get one. But over to you, are you gonna buy an M4 iMac? And if not, why not? Are you waiting for that big one?